2022 Ducati Multistrada V4. Costs, facts, and figures. Ducati's heavyweight ADV now comes with a superbike-derived V4 engine and state-of-the-art tech. Here's everything you need to know. There aren't many motorcycles on this planet that can match the wide range of abilities of the Ducati Multistrada. Since its launch in 2003, the Multistrada, Italian for many roads, has become the go-to brand for adventure motorcyclists looking for a fast, fun, and sexy ADV. The Multistrada doesn't just bring the best of all worlds in a single package, but it'll also blow your mind with its impeccable balance, poised handling, and breathtaking performance on all roads. Pushing the boundaries further is the all-new Multistrada V4 the latest version of the top dog ADV from Ducati. This is the fourth gen model of Ducati's heavyweight adventure tourer and they've thrown everything in the kitchen sink to make it better in every way. With this all-new model, the Multistrada V4 has become more adventure-focused, albeit it's still as brutal looking as ever. The Multistrada V4 aims to lock horns with the mighty BMW R1250GS, but with its relentless need for speed, it can also keep the likes of the more road-focused BMW S1000XR as well as the KTM 1290 Super Adventure R in check. The fourth-gen Multistrada V4 is all new, meaning it's got a brand new engine, new frame, and suspension, as well as state-of-the-art electronics, which you're unlikely to see on any other ADV on the market as of now. So, if you're considering jumping into the world of heavyweight ADV, you can't possibly ignore the Multistrada V4. In its latest avatar, the Multistrada V4, as the name suggests, gets an all-new V4 powertrain. Dubbed the Gran Turismo V4, this new engine is a reborn version of the Stradale V4 unit of the Panigal V4's engine. Compared to the Superbike's 1103cc, the Multistrada's V4 displaces 1,158cc. The engine develops 170 horsepower and 92 pound-feet of torque. Power transmission duties are carried out by a six-speed gearbox. Another big change in the powertrain is that Ducati has gone back to a conventional spring-operated valve mechanism with the Gran Turismo engine, meaning it doesn't get the brand's desmodromic valves. This has been done to increase the valve service intervals, which, according to Ducati, is 36,000 miles for the new Multistrada V4. What's more, the Gran Turismo V4 engine is more compact and lighter than the outgoing Multistrada 1260's V-twin engine. It's 3.35 inches shorter, sits 3.7 inches lower, and is only 0.79 inch wider. Despite having two more cylinders, the V4 engine weighs just 147 pounds, making it 2.65 pounds lighter than the old Multistrada's Testistretta V-Twin. The engine also features rear cylinder bank deactivation, which, as the name suggests, shuts off the rear bank of cylinders for better comfort, lower heat, temperature, when the engine's idling. A more adventurous and techier Ducati ADV. The Multistrada range has always been known for its sporty handling and mental performance. While that's not expected to change with the updated V4 lineup, there have been some crucial updates that now make Ducati's flagship ADV more adventure-focused. The new Multistrada gets a new aluminum frame instead of the steel trellis frame of the old bike, and it also comes with a larger 19-inch front wheel, replacing the 17-inch wheel of the old bike, the rear wheel is still 17 inches. There's also a new double-sided swing arm, the wheelbase is shorter than before, and the rake and trail have been reduced. Ducati offers the Multistrada V4 in three variants, V4, V4S, and V4S Sport. The V4 is the base variant and it gets a fully adjustable 50mm Marzocchi upside-down front fork and a Marzocchi monoshock. The S and S Sport gets semi-active Marzocchi electronic suspension that's coupled with the Ducati Skyhook suspension, DSS, evolution system. As standard, all variants get 8-level traction control, 8-level wheelie control, 3-level cornering abs, and 4 riding modes, Sport, Urban, Enduro, and Touring. The V4S versions get cruise control, a quick shifter, a 6.5-inch TFT display, the base version gets a 5-inch unit, with onboard navigation, and full LED lighting. There's also a small storage compartment over the fuel tank for a smartphone and it comes with a USB charging port. The V4S Sport adds an Acropovic exhaust and carbon fiber fender. Braking duties are performed by Brembo Stylima 4 piston calipers with a 320mm front disc in the V4, 
330mm for V4S and V4S Sport, and a 265mm rear disc. Last but not least, the Multistrada V4 brings, for the first time, radar-based assistance systems on a motorcycle as it comes with adaptive cruise control, ACC, and blind spot detection, BSD, systems. These are standard on the V4S and V4S Sport, but aren't available with the base V4 version. 2022 Ducati Multistrada V4 Costs The 2022 Ducati Multistrada V4 range is priced from $19,995 for the base variant and it's only available in Ducati red color. The Multistrada V4S costs $25,795, Ducati red, $25,995, Aviator Gray, $26,495, Ducati Red Plus Tubeless Spoked Wheels, $26,695, Aviator Gray Plus Spoked Wheels. You can also get tubeless spoked wheels for $2,000 for all models including the base V4. The V4S Sport is the range topping model at $27,945 and it comes with a special livery. As always, there are countless optional extras and accessories on offer. In fact, there are Enduro, Touring, and Performance packages that are available with the new Multistrada V4, depending on how and where you want to ride your Multistrada V4 the most.